Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about continuing statements on a different line when you're in the command window. Uh, it's also applicable if you're using a script, but for this tutorial we're only going to be using the command window. Um, so say you have uh, some sort of command that you want to type into the command window and it's so long that you get all the way over to the other side but you want to keep moving or you want to keep typing in to the command on the next line okay so you have one plus two plus three plus plus four and let me copy that a couple times okay you get over here and you want to keep typing but uh, if you keep typing, see what happens, you start scrolling over to the next side, so it's really hard to see. Uh, one of the things you can do is use a tool called the ellipsis, okay, and that's essentially three dots one after the other, okay. So initially, if I had just done this and then I pressed enter to go to the next line, it would have processed, and then you know you could use this s value and add on to that, but that's kind of annoying, so. If you want to keep typing, you use the ellipsis, and then now if you press enter, it doesn't run yet. It's waiting for you to continue entering your statement as it says down here on the bottom. Okay, so then you can add a couple more things, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus whatever you want. Okay, so now it, you can add another ellipsis, okay, or you could run your command. So let's say we have another ellipsis. Then we can keep typing. So one plus two plus three. Okay. Now if I press enter without using this ellipsis, it should run just as it did up here at the top. But obviously we have more numbers, so we should get a different value, which we do. Okay. So that should make sense. We're adding, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. So the difference should be what we expect. Okay. Now, uh, one of the other things I wanted to show you about using the ellipsis is using the ellipsis with strings. Okay, so say you have a string uh, that's defined as hello world. Okay, if you type that in, your string is defined as hello world. Okay, but say you wanted to use the ellipsis uh, like this. Sorry, hold on one second. Okay, you wanted to use the ellipsis and then you wanted to go to the next line so that you can continue typing. So if you press enter to go to the next line, um, what actually ends up happening is you get this error and the reason you get that error is because you have to actually terminate your your string okay uh, sorry I'm gonna leave that space in there you have to terminate your string use the ellipsis to go to the next line I just pressed enter so it's letting me continue entering my statement and then I can type in uh, world after that okay so now if I press enter it should run the same as uh, what I did up here so let's test that theory out let's see what did I do here oh I think the issue is that I didn't concatenate the output so what you actually have to do is uh, put this in square brackets and then continue typing world and then close your square bracket and then press enter and then it should read hello world so this concatenating thing is just putting two strings together uh, I apologize that I didn't catch that up front but um, basically by putting the square bracket you can continue typing onto the next line so uh, I hope that was helpful for you guys uh, I'm sorry about that mistake at the end but you know I'm only human <laughs> so uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this was helpful. Let us know uh, what we can do to improve. Uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe if you liked our video. Uh, thanks, and I'll see you next time.